Hey guys, Racing Mapback Equipment, and as you can see, today we aren't in the office. Today we're down at Plunkett Green at Tambourine, and we're going to be giving you a couple of product reviews, starting off with the Lightforce HCX2 hybrid driving lights. So the HCX2s are a hybrid driving light using LED and HID technology. They use the HID for long distance shining down the road and the LED ring around the outside to make sure you have a nice flood beam pattern. So these are a nine inch driving light made with a die cast alloy housing to keep the lights cool. The lights themselves between the HID and LED are interchangeable so you can run one LEDs at one time or just the HID at the other. So we've already actually got these lights mounted on the car but before we get to them we just wanted to cover what actually comes in the kit to make your life easier. So Lightforce have made the install for these lights super simple. They've got a plug and play harness uh, ready for H4 and HB3. They are a dual switching harness relay which means you can have your HIDs on at one point and LEDs separately or you can have them both on at the same time. So as I said in the box, you get your driving light harness, you get your clear spot filters and then while you're not using a driving lights at night, we recommend you chuck on the black covers just so you're not getting any rock chips or debris hitting them while you're driving during the day. Now we know that Lightforce has done a really good job with making a universal harness to go with any car but some people just aren't a fan of the mouse switches that these come with. Uh, so Lightforce has taken the liberty of making an 8-pin connector, like adapter. Everyone's seen these 8-pin green uh, harnesses that go into the back of your OEM switches. Uh, Lightforce has an adapter that goes straight into their harness, so there's no cutting or splicing. It's just plug and play, and then that lights up your switches. So now we're over having a look at the lights up close. Uh, as you can see, they are quite large in comparison to some other models on the market, but that's just because they are a true 9-inch light. These lights can throw uh, one lux at over 1,600 meters, which means that you'll be able to see from miles down the road. We've got the spot lens cover on one and then the, uh, the blank on the other, just so we can uh, show you the differences of what they look like while we're traveling. One thing to take note of through the whole of the Lightforce range is stuck with a 5,000 Kelvin uh, color temperature. What that means is that they've just gone with a color that's slightly brighter than daytime. So when you're driving at night, your eyes aren't trying to adjust to the really bright white LEDs. It's not burning your retinas out. I don't see a point in having lights that have really high Kelvin ratings and shine this ridiculous amount of light down the road if you're squinting half the time just to see properly. So Lightforce have done a really good job of making sure that color temperature is a really usable temperature. So what actually makes these a hybrid driving light is the fact that we've merged the two technologies of LED and HID. The LEDs are designed to give you a nice flood pattern for your peripheral vision at night, and then the HIDs are shining a nice straight beam down the road to give you that long range. Lightforce have also made these lights very versatile by giving them reversible mounts on the bottom. So if you ever have issues with the lights fouling on ball bars and whatnot, you can actually flip the brackets around to make them sit out further or sit back further. All right guys, so that finishes up on the lights themselves. So we're just gonna quickly run you through some of the accessories that you can get for them. One of the first things that we would always recommend is using the protective covers that come with the lights. These lights are very expensive but they are an investment in your safety, being able to see as well as you do at night. Uh, so we recommend, yeah, protecting them from debris coming flying off the roads and whatnot. Some of the other filters that you can get for these spotlights as well is just your clear spot filter. So that makes sure that you can actually be throwing your beam the entire way down the road. And then Lightforce has actually just released their flood filter. So the, they basically just throw out a 90 degree light, but uh, obviously you're gonna lose some of that distance down the road. One of the other things you should take note of when uh, purchasing these lights is that they are IP69K rated, which means they can be submerged in water up to one meter and uh, they're gonna be able to still be fully functioning. Uh, the lights themselves, if you do have them for a long enough period of time, not everything lasts, uh, but the HIDs, should something happen to them, they are replaceable. There are bolts on the back and you can purchase them from Outback Equipment. So just covering what we've gone through so far, the lights themselves, nine inches wide, hybrid LED with the HIDs giving a nice long distance and widespread beam pattern. They're IP69 rated, Australian made, and they all come with a plug and play wiring harness kit. So that's a wrap for this video, guys, covering the Lightforce HTX2 hybrid driving lights. If you like what you've seen in the video, head over to outbackequipment.com.au to grab yourself a pair today. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one. Can you hear the wind? No. Yes. Wow.